Hello, I'm Dean Martin with Transmission Digest. Welcome to the Transstar Industry Studios here at Babcox Media. Diagnosing noise issues can always be challenging, as is the case of certain Ford trucks with uh, four-wheel drive. Uh, for instance, we had a 2014 expedition that had a particular noise problem that when you would uh, be going up a hill in two-wheel drive, at times there would be a grinding noise. That grinding noise coming out from underneath the car could have been anything, transmission, transfer case, differential, and so on. As it turned out, it had to do with the IWE which is the Integrated Wheel End Actuator, which is just a fancy name for a locking hub. Older vehicles, when you had four-wheel drive, you could have manual locking hubs to engage four-wheel. Today, it's much different. The IWE systems on uh, certain applications of Ford trucks, certain years, ha actually have vacuum lines that run down to the actuator on each side of the vehicle. In conjunction with the actuators, the vacuum lines go up to a central switch, which is this. And this switch, of course, is controlled by the computer. And what it does is allow a certain amount of vacuum to go through the switch to the actuators at a certain time. The problem comes in if you don't get the right vacuum signal at the right time, instead of the uh, IWE being fully engaged or disengaged, it will end up being partially engaged and that's when you start getting noise. This particular switch merely cracked, whether it was due to heat or vibration, but it did not allow the proper amount of uh, vacuum to get to the hubs to fully engage when it needed to be. So uh, it created this erratic condition that, again, was uh, a little tough to track down. Uh, it's enough of a problem to where Ford actually did a TSB on it, uh, which again, you'll see on the screen. So when you have a certain range of uh, Ford trucks, uh, F-150 Expedition and so on, and if you get this erratic grinding noise, uh, look for the TSB and chances are it's either going to be the switch or a vacuum line running to the um, actuators. You can also take a vacuum pump and test each side uh, to make sure it's working or not. And a side note, if you have to replace the seal on the axle on either side, these are not just normal seals, metal clad seals. These are sizable and they actually press onto the axle shaft and into the knuckle. There's a special tool that you definitely need to use or you could end up damaging a fairly expensive seal. So if you have to replace those axle seals, make sure you have the right tool and follow the procedure. I'm Mike Riley. Thanks for watching. See you next time.